Hey guys, it's Marlene. Today I'm going to talk about manual focus with the Lumix G100. It's not straightforward, so make sure you watch all the way to the end to get all my setup tips. Is it me or do you guys feel like the Lumix G100 is getting a second chance? I think it is. I mean, I still love this camera. In fact, I have two of them. Two, yes. Now, if you're a Lumix lover like I am, it'll fit nicely into your system. It has the same sensor as the Lumix G9, and it fits all your lenses that your G9 also uses. But I digress. Let's dive into manual focus using this camera because it's a little tricky to set up, especially with this kit lens that it comes with. All right, let's go. So this 15 millimeter lens I have has a manual focus switch on the side here, and it also has a focus ring, a manual focus ring. This is the kit lens. It only has a zoom ring and it has no switch for manual focus. So with the kit lens, you have to do everything internally in the camera body. These are the instructions for doing it if you're using the kit lens that comes with the Lumix G100 or any lens that doesn't have a focus ring or a manual focus switch on the side of it. So some lenses have a manual focus ring but not a manual focus switch and some lenses have neither and some lenses have both. All right, let's set this up. Here we have our scene and the first thing we have to do is on page one of five of the camera settings, you go into auto focus mode and you put it into manual focus. Then you go into this button right here, this setting on the control dial, which is the focus setting, and you choose what you want to focus on. Let's choose this little guy here. And by the way, you can change the size of the focus area. This is the smallest that it goes. When you're happy with your focus area, hit set and you tap AF right there. And what it does, it'll focus, it'll enlarge it, and it will focus right there. When you're ready to take your picture, you just half press the shutter button up here. And you can see here that parts of this image are green and that is the focus peaking and that will show you what's in focus. If you don't see the focus peaking, you hit this little arrow here on the sidebar of the back screen and you go into peaking and that turns it on and off. And you can see here that we have peaking set up right there. And if you press this, it will turn it off. Okay, so peaking is on. Now, if you wanna change the color of your peaking, go into the menus again, go into the tools and scroll down until you find peaking. There we go, peaking is on but you can choose the color that you want the peaking to be as well. You can do a high level detect or a low. Let's change it to high and let's change the color to blue. So now, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but the focus peaking is set up here. I can see there's like a little blue outlines on the car. Let's change our focus area again. So let's hit this change our focus area to something in the foreground. There we go, set. And what I like to do is just tap the AF uh, button there on the back of the camera and hit exit. And I don't know if you can see it, but I can see the focus peaking on the Altoids box below. Um, and if there's enough depth of field, you'll see focus peaking in other areas of uh, your viewfinder as well. When you're ready, you can take your picture. Let's choose another focus point. Let's choose the car this time. Go set. Now you notice that there is a sidebar here where you can actually manually control the focus. So let's just go crazy. So now it's out of focus. You can see, cause I pushed like the mountain symbol. I'll go to the close up, and then I can go in smaller increments as well. So this is how to manually control the focus but I just like to push the AF button and it generally does a good job of whatever is in your pre-selected area of focus. Okay, so that's how you focus manually with the Lumix G100. What about video? I knew you'd ask, so let's go into video mode. And it actually works exactly the same way. If you're doing product videos and you're doing demonstrations, you might wanna set it up for manual focus on your object and then you can move around the screen and show people 
stopping what you're filming. You can also use the control dial to move your focus area around your screen. So instead of using your finger like this, you can actually use the control dial to enlarge or you can pinch, touch, pinch, many ways to do it. You'll definitely need some practice using manual focus, but you will soon get used to it. If this video solved your problem or helped you in any other way, please consider buying me a coffee. Thanks. So one more thing I'd like to mention is that if the instructions I give you don't make sense or you need a little bit more information, don't forget to check out the user manual for the G100. Now I'll put a link in the video description for all the user manuals for Lumix cameras and you can find it there and download the PDF. Keep it on your phone if you're out and about shooting. It's always handy to consult the manual if you have any questions. Now I know that some of the problem with the manual is people don't really know what to look for, what to search for, what search term to use because they don't really know the right question to ask. So what you can do is search the manual, go to the front of the manual, and you can search by function. The pages you need to consult for manual focus with the G100 are pages 146 to 150. Hope that helps.